What is your favorite Disney character? Boo! Disney is really starting to make me angry. Really. Really. Have you ever seen Beauty and the Beast, the one that's black and white and French that was made by a, a surrealist filmmaker? No, because Disney screwed it up. In Cinderella, the, the evil stepdaughters, they chopped off their toes and blood was flowing everywhere just so that the shoe could fit inside, but the prince knows that they don't have any toes, so they're like, forget you, man. Ridiculous. You know Meet the Robinsons, and you know the the villain in Meet the Robinsons. Do you feel like you've seen him before? Yeah, I bet you do. You know what's worse? His name is Bowler Hat Guy. Bowler Hat Guy. Bowler Hat Guy. Cause he has a he's a guy and he has a bowler hat on. Disney, where quality is a fence. A fence! A wooden fence. Thing. Another thing Disney screwed up is Pirates of the Caribbean. And the second one kind of didn't end. It didn't end. And because you're going to have to see the, the third one. It, it, I don't like... It's like a cliffhanger, but cliffhangers aren't supposed to be in movies. They're supposed to be on TV shows. And another thing I hate about Disney is when someone dies... And then they come back to life in the end, finding Nemo. The, the Nemo dies, and then, you, at least you think he dies, and then he comes back to life. Just die, okay? Just die. Disney is really, really going downhill. Have you ever even, like, watched... If you watch five seconds of the Disney Channel, you'll know what I mean. Your eyes will bleed and you will throw up and die. And you won't come back to life. Ever. Ever. It seems like in, in a lot of the Disney movies, the main character is exactly the same. And by the way, the animation of me, the Robinsons, really reminds me of Jimmy Neutron. And the plot kind of reminds me of Jimmy Neutron, too. That's not good. Why don't Disney have any documentaries? The genres that they have seem to be exactly the same, one after another. You know? One Disney movie I did like, though, was The Bridge to Terabithia. That is an exception. And also Mary Poppins. That is also another exception, just because it's so bizarre. But, instead of showing your kids Disney movies, you should show them these. When I say kids, I mean kids like my age, like 14, okay? Not like little tiniest of babies. 12 at the most. 12 at the most. Number one, Night of the Hunter. Good movie. Num number two, Jan Schmug by Schmagov Schmig Schmagov Schmagoviver Schmigoviver Jan Schmagovarver Alice Number three Night of the Living Dead Number four The Mask of Red Death Number five Clay World Off the Table Best movie ever. Hi, I'm Rose Kettle. Your tea hostess here for the perfectly Princess tea party at the beautiful Garden View Tea Room at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It started out fine with all the Mickey Mouse stuff. It's just going too far. And I'm going to have to stop it. Soon.
before it gets out of hand, it has to be stopped. Soon. It's ridiculous. Disney. It's ridiculous. Mm. Where we all learn how to find King, Queen, and Princess Aurora. So then when she later enters, we can surprise her. And everyone who enters our tea party world is royalty. Every mom is a queen, every dad is a king, every brother and sister is a duke and duchess. <laughs>